What's going on guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts and I'm back once again. I'm just running through these Game of Thrones videos, man. I'm just running through them tonight, man. So let's just jump into it. This one is from one of my favorite um, Game of Thrones theorists out there, Alt Shift X. Um, so we're just going to jump into it, man. This one is called Does Rob Stark Die Twice? I'm going to hear what he has to say about this. If you have not right, watched all these videos that I'm putting out about Game of Thrones, it's Game of Thrones week, man, on the channel. It's Game of Thrones week. So expect Game of Thrones stuff all week this week. I'm dropping Game of Thrones videos every day. I put all my TV shows, so Peaky Blinders, Rome, Vikings, everything TV shows is on break except the anime on the channel. Um, so everything is on break. Everything will get back in line next week okay this week i just want to drop game of thrones stuff along with the anime. i don't want to break the momentum with the anime so that's why i'm keeping them um because we're right there at the at the um at the end of the season with my animes so i don't want to break them you know what i'm saying break the momentum that the that is gaining right now um so i'm keeping those on the schedule even though i'm still kind of breaking the schedule a bit but let's jump into this reaction, man. Does rap Rob Stark die twice? Let's get it. One of the most infamous moments in Game of Thrones is the Red Wedding, when the King in the North, Rob Stark, is betrayed by Walder Frey. Rob is killed, along with his mother Catelyn and his wife Talisa in the show, and with thousands of his men. It's a sudden, shocking end to some of the heroes of the series, and it's tragic for so many reasons. Rob fights so hard to rescue his father Ned and his lost siblings, but he fails. His independent northern kingdom falls to the treacherous Boltons. Catelyn sees her firstborn child murdered before her eyes, and she dies believing that Bran, Rickon, and Arya are also dead. Talisa dies along with her unborn child, though this character is different in the books. Arya arrives at the twins, hoping to reunite with her family, but she only arrives in time for them to die. The Mormonts, Mandalays, and many other northern families lose sons, daughters, brothers, and sisters. And there's another detail which could add yet more tragedy to this massacre, involving the death of the direwolf, Greywind. At the beginning of Game of Thrones, the Stark family finds some direwolf pups. Direwolves are like wolves, but bigger, and more… mystical. They're also on the heraldry of House Stark, so Ned lets each of his children keep a direwolf. Rob has Greywind, Sansa has Lady, Arya has Nymeria, Bran has Summer, Rickon has Shaggy Dog, and Jon has Ghost. As the story goes on, we learn that these direwolves are more than just pets. They develop a magical connection with the Stark kids, allowing them to feel what their wolves are feeling, even to warg into them, meaning they can enter the minds of their wolves and see through their eyes. Bran does this the most, as part of his magical journey, but the other Starks have the same kind of power. Sansa doesn't use hers because Lady is killed in Book 1. But Arya walks into Nymeria even after Arya leaves Westeros, and Nymeria becomes leader of a wolf pack. Rickon and Shaggy Dog we don't know much about. They die in the show, but in the books they're apparently alive on like a cannibal unicorn island that we'll hopefully see next book. Jon tends to resist his power, but he does walk Ghost sometimes, and many readers believe that Ghost will play a role in Jon's resurrection in the books. There's this whole thing about how when wargs die, their mind can live on inside their wolf. The character Varamir does this in the prologue of Book 5. He dies, but then lives a second life as his wolf. And when Jon dies at the end of Book 5, he might do the same thing, live on in his direwolf ghost. Jon's last word when he dies is ghost, and the description of cold in his death is similar to Varamir's. Jon won't stay in ghost for good. Melisandre has a vision of Jon changing from a man to a wolf to a man again. So maybe Jon will stay in Ghost for a while, then be resurrected as a man by Melisandre, like he is in the show. Watch this video for more on Book Jon's resurrection. But the point is that wargs can live on in their wolves, and some readers believe that this happens with Rob and Greywind. We don't know much about Rob's relationship with his wolf, because like Rickon, Rob is not a POV character in the books. We don't see the story from his point of view. 
But Rob does seem close with Grey Wind. The wolf fights alongside Rob in battle, and growls at the Freys who later betray Rob. But in Book 3, Rob doesn't listen to his wolf's warnings. He starts to distance himself from Grey Wind. As Rob gets more involved in southern politics, it becomes inconvenient to bring a man-eating wolf to his meetings. So before the Red Wedding, Grey Wind is locked up outside the feast, and this disconnection by Rob from his mystical northern Stark roots is part of what leads to his downfall. Because when shit gets real and the wedding gets red, Grey Wind isn't there to save Rob, but Rob may return to his wolf in the end. Rob's last words are Grey Wind, just like Jon's last word is ghost. So maybe like Jon and like Varamyr, Rob lives a second life as his direwolf Grey Wind. A very short second life. Because after Rob dies, the Freys also kill Grey Wind. In the books, a Stark supporter called Reynold Westerling briefly frees Grey Wind, and the wolf attacks some Freys before being shot down. So maybe that's actually Rob living through Grey Wind, attacking his Frey betrayers before being killed again. Imagine how confused and angry and hurt Rob would have been, having his family and his men and himself murdered, then finding himself in the body of his wolf for a final frantic fight before dying a second and final time. After Grey Wind is killed, the Freys stitch the wolf's head onto Rob's corpse, which is gruesome, but there's also a neat symmetry here. Because Grey Wind's head is on Rob's body, just as Rob's mind walks into Grey Wind's body. This might be a deliberate parallel. So there's no proof, but it does seem very possible that Rob walks Grey Wind and dies twice. It doesn't really change the plot, but it does make Rob's death even sadder. In the show, Arya sees Grey Wind die, and there's a moment of eye contact between her and the wolf. Which means, if Rob walks Grey Wind, he not only sees his mother and wife and men and himself die, he also sees his long-lost sister for the last time. He sees the fear and danger she's in, but Rob's unable to save her. He dies powerless, pained, and confused in a foreign body in a foreign land. Maybe this is punishment from the old gods for a northerner who strayed too far south. Or maybe this isn't really the end for Rob. If you want to get tinfoil with this, we can go further. Because this guy, Reynold Westerling, after he frees Greywind, he gets shot with crossbows but escapes into a river. So it's possible that Reynold survives. And the thing is, wargs can live a second life not only in wolves, but in humans as well. In the prologue, Varamyr tries to take over the body of a wildling called Thistle. So maybe Rob could do the same. Maybe Rob is killed at the Red Wedding, then wargs into Greywind, and then when the wolf dies, wargs into Reynold Westerling, who escapes downriver. King Rob could still be alive somewhere, in Reynold's body. Maybe to reunite with his zombie mother, Stoneheart, because Catelyn is resurrected in the books. Maybe when Stoneheart leads a Red Wedding revenge, Rob as Reynold could stab a Frey in the heart and say Rob Stark sends his regards, just as Roose did to Rob. But that is just fan fiction, really. Rob probably doesn't walk Reynold, because there are enough bloody Starks resurrected as it is with Jon and Stoneheart. But it is plausible, at least, that Rob walks Greywind and dies twice in one night. Another layer of horror and pain to the travesty of the Red Wedding. This art is by Ertach Altanoz. Check out his awesome work linked in the description. And as ever, check out the Game of Thrones subreddits and forums, where a lot of these cool fan theories come from in the first place. Thanks to the patrons who make Old Shift here we go again. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Um, but this is all according to book theory. Um, but that's pretty dope, though. If, uh, as I said, a lot of these characters, um, is is to me, it's just let dead men lie. Let 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 them lie. Let them stay dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, characters that we've mourned over, you know what I mean? Like, they need to stay dead. They need to stay dead. Um, I was excited to see John come back. I, I was. Because he was my favorite character in the show. Um, 
so it was devastating to see him die like that um you know it's not that i had hope that they were that they that they was going to bring him back cuz there was there was no hope but when there was an inkling of him coming back you know what i'm saying i got excited rob is not a character that i need to see back i'm i'm just saying that is not a character i need to see come back he has no reason to you know what i mean like but i can understand it if if um if rob was one of your favorite characters he was one of mine definitely um but i don't see where what he could come back and do in the tv show i'm talking about the tv show because i have not read the books guys um so when when it comes on to to game of thrones and and the books maybe things can play out a little bit different maybe he can come back with a purpose um but as i said sometimes you just gotta let dead men die <laughs> you know what I'm let them stay dead you know you don't have to bring back every character you know what i'm saying is this certain characters you know what i mean is just not needed you know what i mean it's just not needed so this is pretty interesting man um if he comes back that way that would be it would be cool to read it would be cool to see um i just don't see what the purpose he would come back tv show wise you know what i'm saying so um as i said i've said before and i said it again it's only six episodes guys and i know a lot of these episodes are going to be um basically 80 minutes 80 minute episodes um uh, for the last what four the last four um the first the first two episode one and two is going to be 60 minutes each and then the other one's going to be like movie times so that's going to be great that's going to be awesome um as i said it's, they have time to kind of do certain things it's just that certain things are just not going to make any sense like like Tyrion being a targaryen like that stuff is just not going to make any sense at this point it's season eight it's the final season like it's time for payoffs not building stories you get what i'm saying it's not time for building stories it's time for payoffs now it's time for story plot lines to get payoffs not bringing back old characters and you know what i'm saying to to stir up new trouble you know what i'm saying it's time for payoffs now we know what we know what it is we know what the war is we know what we know who the villains are we know who the heroes are let's get to work okay is it's let's get to work let's get shit done we know who we're rooting for and who we're not rooting for or what we expect from certain people characters are established there's nobody in the show where we're wondering what what is going to not necessarily what going to happen to them but what is your journey their the journey their arc is supposed to be now pay paid off for us the audience so that's what i'm looking forward to in season eight not for new storylines to get jumped up now we know what's going on we need um john needs to find out that he's a targaryen okay is he gonna ride ride the dragon that's named after his dad um those are the things we want to see in season eight right we don't want to I, I i'm not interested in seeing little finger come back i'm not interested in seeing dead characters come back to life like i'm not interested in that i'm not interested uh, and that's what i'm saying the the storyline of the um of Tyrion being a targaryen is not fleshed out enough for me to say okay it would be okay if that was announced in season eight right or it was something that happens in season eight like i just don't see it it's just, you know what i mean like the things that we want to see how is Euron gonna gonna fight in the fight against the night are we gonna fight against the white walkers that's the stuff i want to see what is going to be the reactions when when people up north finally really see dragons you know what i'm saying like is Arya going to try to touch dragons because she's always wanted to see dragons right so that's gonna be awesome that's gonna be awesome that's those are the things i'm looking forward to as i said books different from the tv show if i was reading a book i would be expecting something different 
from the books. But for the TV shows, final season, we know, I know what I want. Tell me what you, you expect and what you want in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terry by Reacts. I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.